Well, don't mind me, guys. Just um, continue my quest to take over New Vegas. Anyway, uh, I got a new friend along the way. His name is Boone Spaceman. How are you, Boone? I'm sure Boone's doing well. Why am I walking so slow? You know why I'm so slow, Boone? Am I over encumbered? No. Oh. Oh. That's why. Okay, well, I know. Because my caps locks must have bug bugged out. Now, the great thing about this game is that you can just really trick it really easily. So watch this. There you go. Now it's fixed. <laughs> We're trying to take over New Vegas with no a robot army. You know, I can't pronounce things right. A robot army. You know, and the one of the things I need to do, though, is get to know the locals. And we're here at the compound of the Brotherhood of Steel. They think it's so secret, but I know exactly where they live, so... Actually, not that secret. Right, Boone Spaceman. Hey. Yeah, he's looking really great with his space getup and his sniper rifle. What's he have to say? Hey, Boone, what do you got, what do you got to say, Boone? Caesar's dead. Bet he didn't see this coming when he was having his coffee this morning. Yeah. Still, it's not going to stop the Legion. Might not even slow them down. No, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, it still feels pretty good, though, doesn't it? Yeah, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. That was some kind of stunt we pulled. Whatever happens from here. My on word. Out, His voice. <laughs> His voice is so distorted. It like it pops like a mic filter. <laughs> anyway, so let's just jump on it. I think we could jump the fence here, guys. I think he'll be able to just run around to the other open fence that way. All right, Boone. Uh, we're in. Now this thing is supposed to summon a sandstorm, I believe. These fans supposed to create a sandstorm, which is kind of spooky. Well, let's find their. Oh shoot! Wait, I got some scorpions in here, guys. I do like shooting bugs, so we're gonna do that. Here they are. I know Boone loves shooting bugs. Oh, what the frick? Huh? Boone, what is that? Shoot it, kill it! <laughs> oh god! Oh! <laughs> oh, he got it! <laughs> oh, this game doesn't have any bugs in it. No, this game's perfect. Whee! Alright, Boone. Thanks. I leveled up! Wow! Well, we really want to put some stuff into our, uh, our unarmed. Uh, let's see, our, our, uh, our medicine. And our lock picking. Alright. I do suggest going by fives, guys. It makes it really uh, effective every time you level something up, you know? And just focus on certain areas if you're playing this game. Anyway, a little tidbit for me. Uh, but back to what the real matter is at hand. Um, finding this base. Now, oh shoot. It's a hollowed out rock. Oh, there's some rounds in there. Alright, thanks. We gotta find the, the opening to this base, guys. I don't know where it is. Oh wait, that looks like it. That looks like it could be something. Alright. What's down here? This looks like it could be something. <gasps> God, don't scare me. Alright, where, where did... Spaceman? Oh no. They locked him inside. Listen very closely and do as I say. Your life depends on it. Okay. Hand over everything you're carrying. Weapons, ammo, clothes, armor, everything. I want you stripped down to your underwear. Oh, come on. What's going on here? I told you what to do. Strip off your clothes and equipment. Uh, okay, I'll comply. Take it all off and hand it to me. Then come inside and through the door at the rear of the chamber. Paladin Ramos is waiting for you. Man, no privacy, guys. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous, guys. Strip down to my underwear? What the heck is this place? This is not, like... This is not cool. How the hell did you get in here? Normally, I would have already shot you. But I'm under orders to bring you to the Elder. Will you come peacefully? Uh... <laughs> I appear to be lost. I'll just head back the way I came in. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'll speak to your elder and lead the way. Okay. Oh, still in the dark. Looks like, oh, look at this place, guys. Oh, they brought Boone. Hey, Boone. What's up? Anyway. Hello, guys. What's up? If you have something to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just wanted to have some conversation, but I guess we're not doing that. How did you find us, stranger? And do tell the truth. He doesn't sound old. He really doesn't. I was just exploring the area and noticed a patrol coming out of here. 
You took an extreme risk in coming here. My policy towards trespassers has not been lenient. Okay, the well. security of this bunker is my foremost concern, and I take pains to minimize our exposure topside. For this reason, I might be interested in contracting with an outsider who can accomplish certain tasks, some basic, some a bit more involved. Hmm. An NCR ranger has begun to set up post in one of the other bunkers up top, for example. I want him driven off. Understood. Uh, I guess I can do that. I'm really good friends with the NCR, but as long as I don't kill him, we should be good. I can take care of the ranger. Very well. I'll be interested to see how thoroughly and efficiently you carry out your mission. Paladin Ramos will escort you back to the bunker's entrance and set you loose. Notice that I said loose, not free. You are not free to carry the secret of this bunker's location beyond Hidden Valley. Hmm. Until I'm convinced that you're capable and dependable. To underscore this point, you'll be fitted with an explosive collar. Oh gosh. Wander off and it will detonate. Focus on your mission and you'll be fine. Okay. Put your equipment in the chest to your right. Don't bother coming back until you've dealt with the ranger. Okay. Guys, oh, oh there it is. This is sketchy, guys. I don't know. <laughs> Who are these paladin guys? Why don't we do all their work for them? Where is the chest? There it is. Cool. Day gone. What a beautiful day in Mojave, guys. What a beautiful day. This is why I love this game. So aesthetically pleasing. Oh. There he is. Dobson. Dobson, come here. Thought you'd sneak up on me, you filthy powder ganger? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep pointing that gun at me and I'll stick it up your butt. Ha! Got some claws on you, little lady. I like that. What can I do for you? Um... Let's see, uh... Uh, what are you doing here? Well, I thought I might set up a safe house in one of the bunkers here. Between the remote location and the dust storms, I figured it was ideal. Of course, seems a lot less remote since you showed up. Plus, I haven't been able to get my radio working. And a safe house is no good without one. This seems like a bad location for a safe house. Oh, and in your expert opinion, why would that be? Uh, power gangers use these bunkers as hideouts once or twice a month. You've seen that with your own two eyes? God damn, I knew Cook's gang passed through these parts about that frequently, but I didn't know they hold up here. Be a rude awakening to find 15 of those merciless bastards looking down at me snoozing on my bedroom. Yeah, it wouldn't be too good. Yep. I'd be better off setting up an ambush along one of their routes to catch stragglers. Thanks for the information. You may have saved my life. Alright, we did it, guys. We managed to talk him out of staying here near the Brotherhood. Let's go back. <laughs> Trek on back. So right now, the sandstorms aren't active. When I played this earlier, the sandstorms were here, but they're not here anymore. Alright. Let's head on down. Uh... Boon, Spaceman Boon. How did you resolve the situation with the Ranger? The Ranger won't be a problem. He's gone. Gone? Why did he leave? And what makes you think he won't be back? I convinced him that staying here was more dangerous than moving on. Yes, you exploited his fear of powder gangers very effectively. The collar includes a microphone, you see. Part of the test. He'll keep his distance, setting ambushes. Never suspecting that these bunkers house something far more dangerous to him than criminals. Right. Well played. Since you completed your assigned task, I will allow you to come and go from the bunker freely. So let's get that collar off you. Thank there, you. That's better, I hope. Now that we have that bit of unpleasantness out of the way, there is a matter that I would like to discuss with you. Ooh. Stop by the command room when you can. Oh, and bear in mind, if you end up betraying us, we will know it. And there will be no mercy. Okay. All right. I guess we gotta speak to this guy in the command room. Which I know I've tried. Watch. Look. Should I speak to him now? Watch this. What I wish to discuss with you can wait for once I get settled in the command room. Uh huh. You have to actually wait for him to get in the command room, which is kind of annoying. So you have to follow him. <laughs> this guy's in his undies. Anyway, you have to follow him all the way over to the command room, which is kind of a long walk. <laughs> When you first showed up on our doorstep, I'll admit at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of great use to me right now. 
Ah. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though no, we will be keeping an eye on you. Okay. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? Yeah, I think I'll help you guys. All right. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. Okay. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. I'll begin immediately. I'm glad I can count on you. Ah, here is the sandstorm, guys. Woo wee! It comes in at night, I guess, or randomly. But here is the sandstorm. Uh, yes, we need to find. We need to find our brothers. Oh, I see an enemy on the radar. Why is everything loading in? Oh, radiation! Oh, I know what this place is. All right, we're gonna have to do something here. So aid. We need a bunch of radix. Cause there are enemies in here that are really messed up. What the frick is that thing? Well, doesn't matter. He's gonna die. Oh, they're tough. All right, these guys are tough, but it's okay. We've got gear that we can use to defeat them. Cause I got myself. Uh, a, uh, what's this? There it is, incinerator. What up, boys? It's Lady, and she doesn't like you being here. Burn, Mo. <laughs> oh gosh, Boone! Boone, what the frick do you think you're doing? He's on fire! <laughs> We're just gonna purify this place, guys. We're just gonna purify it. There we go. And I believe this place is, in fact, purified. <laughs> I'm on fire. Oh, God. Jeez. That's it? I think that's it, Boone. Uh, how many rads am I getting right now? Because this is pretty rad infected. 51! Okay, we're gonna just take a rad away? Yeah. Um. Oh, it's down here. It's probably really radiated down here. Yeah, it is. Oh no, the Brotherhood. Oh, do they have any? Do they, is there a tape in here? Yes, there is. I'll take that. Summary: Paladin Hughes in Fairbanks. I need you to two to head north to the nearby communications array and look for the components mentioned in the briefing. The mutants there have been reasonable in the past and may prove helpful. They weren't very reasonable, were they? They kind of got over-mutated and turned to some sort of monsters. This is a dangerous place, Whoa. human. This what the heck? Your kind. Oh. I suggest you turn back. There's nothing good waiting for you further on. <laughs> He's so fast, guys. Look at him run. Alright, Boone. Isn't that was weird, wasn't it? Alright, guys. I'm heading up on the next site here. What, what, what was that? Oh, it's a prospector. Okay, well, I don't want to attack her. Huh. Yeah, we're coming up across this the next site. What is this place? Hello, Prospector. If that Mr. House who lorded over the strip is dead. Good riddance, I say. Yeah, I kind of killed him. It was pretty violent. What are those? Yeah, they're robots. Like, sweeping droids or something. They seem friendly. What do they have to say? What are you? How may I serve you, mistress? Hello? You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd <laughs> like to do one for you. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. Uh-huh. You're not alone out here. Okay. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Guys, there's, I think there's some raiders. Oh, it's a leg legionary assassin. Well, I'm gonna kill you. I missed! Get him! Oh, I shot him in the arm and the and head! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Everything fell apart at once when I killed him! Oh, what the? There's more! There's more, guys! <laughs> Watch this. Oh! <laughs> There's nothing left! 
There's nothing left of them. All right, guys, we're gonna have to switch to the plasma rifle. All right, let me get him. It's fine, Boone. I got you covered. <laughs> I'm so angry. <laughs> oh. It's fine. I got him. Boone, it's fine. Look, watch this. Watch this. Whoa, he melted! <laughs> and he's no more, just like that. It makes sense that the Legion's out for us, guys. We kind of slaughtered Caesar at his own home. Yeah, uh, that would be an issue with some of the Legion, I would assume. Let's head inside. Looks like this is where they were left last seen. Those Paladin guys. Let's head inside. I wonder... Let's just do a quick little save. I wonder if there's anyone left. Oh. Oh, there's a fiends. So it looks like they may have had a scuffle with the fiends. Hello. Oh. Please remember visiting hours are from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Okay. Please show your badge or make your way out of the building. Oh. Okay. Oh. That sign did nothing to you. <laughs> Oh. Well, there's one of them. Oh, there's... Okay. Oh, <laughs> this is for executives only. Please identify. Uh, ice cream. Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. That was something else. Well, we got this out of it. Ooh, I would like to test this on some enemies. 